What is going on world? Steve Dab 317 back with another reaction video. Another Tom McDonald reaction video. This is my second time uh, reacting to one of his videos. However, before I get started, I do want to say something extremely important. Uh, and I know I've done something similar on one other video. But listen, before uh, this channel or this the last video that I re re uh, reviewed from Tom McDonald was recommended to me, I had literally never heard of him. Uh, never heard of hog life, hog game, hashtag, like, never heard of it. Didn't know anything about the hog family. But one thing I will say, <laughs> from all the different channels I've followed on YouTube and even a few reaction videos I've done and things like that, I have yet to see anybody with such a, a, a strong and loyal and supportive following uh, then, then, then Tom McDonald, like I literally, I posted that video and the first time somebody, uh, re re replied or commented, they were like hog life, which I didn't fully understand. But as more comments and things started coming in, I was like, yo, they are, they are out here like deep, like not regular deep. I mean like deep, deep, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know. So I appreciate all the love, appreciate, uh, you know, the comments and the feedback and the education and all the stuff y'all giving me. Appreciate you all being here. I imagine as soon as I drop this video, a lot of you will be some of the first ones who kind of either comment or give me feedback or tell me, you know, more information about this and that. One reason why I wanted to go ahead and do this one is because I've been a big Eminem fan uh, for for a long time, uh, more so early on than in the later later years. But all things considered, big M fan. So, uh, I'm excited to check this one out. I mean, I know Tom can drop some heat. I know Ian puts on. So, uh, man, with no further ado, let's go ahead and get this one rolling. Appreciate y'all listening to me run or whatever. But I did want to let y'all know how much I appreciate y'all being here. The whole fam, the whole hog fam, hog life. Hey, all of y'all. And everybody else as well. Let's get it. Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me, maybe. Because lately, everywhere I turn, someone's comparing us crazy. I never would have thought when I was bumping Biggie and Bob that I would buy bleach in a box and become the product of the shade. But I'm here now. Hi, my name is Tom McDonald. People call me controversial. I'm the one that counterculture follows. Every song I drop's a problem. I offend an awful lot with topics commenting on race and politics. I'm pretty awesome. Dear Slim, I know we're very different politically. Seems like some of your biggest fans are the victims I'm triggering. They're convinced I don't like you, which ain't consistent with history. I was. Okay, so I, I feel like there's a backstory to this. Like, you know what I mean? And you know what? Actually, I'm certain you guys want to get down in the comment, either uh, suggest a video or something I need to look at to kind of paint a bit of that picture while people are thinking that maybe he's got something against Eminem or maybe he hates Eminem or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like to kind of know a bit about the backstory. So let's keep it rolling. Picked on as a kid and they don't know what's going for me But I'm here now And I fight the system just like you Was addicted to pills and liquor and quit them just like you People claim that you hate me but Marshall That can't be right dude You'd have to hate yourself as well as Marshall I'm you Marshall G-Body Yo so listen uh, Man where do I start Like Dude's flow is serious, man. Like the the way he puts his bars together, just like this could this could be a cappella, and I'll probably still be in here bobbing my head and rocking to it. Like he's got a very man, his flow is dope. His flow is super dope. Um, I'm gonna let this keep rolling. Like I said, I try to keep from making these reaction videos like 20, 30 minute videos. Sometimes I don't have a choice, you know, but uh, let's get it. I'm just like you, I'm flipping the bird. Dear Slim, I just want to give you your flowers. I spent hours memorizing all of your songs in 2000. You were the reason I screamed it out of my teachers at Tina. You know what this song makes me think about? Uh, when uh, Eminem dropped a song, you know, and basically it was a guy who wrote a letter and he ended up committing suicide or whatever before Slim got the letter. And afterwards, Slim was kind of explaining, like, hey, I'm sorry. For, well, he, he didn't say he's sorry, but basically, 
just responding to everything that the guy has said in a prior verse or whatever. So I thought that was another dope track too. But anyways. Eating your CD on repeat and shaky space on my t-shirt But I'm here now, how many controversials just like you? We're both white, both rap, both of our eyes blue Screw any guy who tries to say you changed and don't like you Cause in my mind it's still 99 And I'm you Marshall and Camden back when You became an end You changed the world with a pen Well now I'm just like you stop this verse before it kicks off what is your if you had to pick one all-time favorite eminem song what is it and, I, and i'm just more or less curious i mean if you don't like eminem i guess you can put that down the con actually no if you don't like eminem you don't have to comment anything i'm cool with that but hey if you have a favorite eminem song like put it down in the comments i'm just curious i've got oh man i, I probably got i probably got too many i'll probably have to sit down and, and literally write out a list and start narrowing it narrowing it down uh, I've probably at least got 10 that I would say are like amongst my favorite of M songs. So. Somewhat ironic here. You know how, so how he, he, he's a bit given homage to, to Eminem and you know what he meant to him growing up and, and, and building his building himself to where he is right now. That's similar to the way that I look at many of you guys. Uh, and, and in this video, I'm specifically going to speak of the Hogg family. Uh, it's like, I, I've got a very new YouTube channel. Like, it's only been about two, three months now that I've been kind of, like, trying to pump out content on a regular basis. You know, I do a lot of stuff with cars, some stuff with lifting weights, cutting grass, and then these reaction videos. But, like, the the love and support that I've gotten from y'all literally after just, just dropping one reaction video to Tom McDonald, like, it probably means more to me than many of you will ever realize. But, uh, I don't know, it just means a lot, especially being a small channel. I've got, like, as of right now, I've got, like, 300... I don't know, like 300 something subscribers. You know, I like to see that number keep going up. Uh, and we'll kind of see what happens over time. I'll try to be consistent. But, yo, I definitely appreciate y'all. You know, and every time I see a comment, I try to try to respond back to it as soon as I can. Or, you know, whenever I get time to or whatever. But every single comment, every single like, every single recommendation or greatly appreciated from everybody. Whether we agree or disagree, I appreciate you being here. You know, and I respect that you took the time to, you know, comment or whatever. So, hey, keep it up. Let's, let's roll it. You got like a minute left, so. Perfect, perfect time to hit pause, leave his screen up with his contact information. If you don't already have it, I'm sure most of you probably do. But let's speak on him for a minute. You know, like, and I think one of the reasons why I liked him a lot was because he, he I would agree, uh, to an extent, he did kind of break that mold. Like, I remember back when, like, you know, we had, like, Vanilla Ice and things like that. Nothing against Vanilla Ice, but completely different style. But, like, Eminem was the first... Uh, is who they would, who they would label as a, as a white rapper the first one who I can recall ever speaking in a manner where like I, I literally felt his lyrics you know not like you know kind of one of those where you're not just listening to the music but it's like you know what I mean I, I I get some of the stuff that he's talking about some of the stuff he's going through the issues you know that he dealt with in terms of his mother being on being uh been on drugs and thing and like my mother wasn't wasn't on drugs or anything like that but it's like I, I could I could feel his music you know through his lyrics and stuff and I, I really admired that so 
an extent, I mean, to an extent, I, I think he did open some doors. Um, you know, a lot of people have, have preconceived notions and stuff just as much as like, I, I remember, you know, where people, people, well, I don't even want to go down that tangent right now. Cause I really don't want to make it all about race or whatever, but like a lot of people have preconceived notions and I really admire and like when people come in, kick the door down, like, yo, whatever you thought, whatever you believe it's is different now. So just as much as I, I was digging and I still do dig Eminem's flow, uh, Tom McDonald, like, bro, he can, he can go. Like, I would like to find, like, an acapella where, like, he's just spitting. No, no nothing, no music, nothing in the background, just, just going and, 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 and check that out. If there is something like that, let me know in the comments so I can check it out. As always, appreciate each and every one of you who are here. Help me continue growing these subscribers. Tell somebody, at least one other person, two other people, maybe 20 other people, I'm okay with that. Tell them to check out this page, subscribe to it, hit that bell notification. All the love is greatly appreciated. And best believe as my channel grows, as I get to tens or hundreds or whatever, thousands of subscribers and viewers, like I'm always going to remember where I came from. I'm always going to remember, you know, the significance that reviewing the Tom McDonald video, you know, had on my channel in the early days. If I ever forget, if I ever get so big where I forget, don't be afraid to get in the comments like, yo, bro, don't forget where you came from. Because sometimes, I don't know, sometimes maybe we need those friendly reminders. You know, I think sometimes people get lost as, as they start making it through different phases in life. And I try my best to be grounded. But like I said before, I'm not perfect. Don't don't be afraid of, matter of fact, you don't have to put it in the comments on YouTube. But hit me up on Instagram, stevedab317, and tell me, hey, bro, uh, I, you know, don't forget, so, you know what I mean? Like, I... I'm one of those I'm always open to learning, always open to doing things that will help me be a better person. And I, I respect constructive criticism. Like if you try to hit me in the inbox just bashing me or something, like, you know, I'm going I'm to deal with that comment accordingly. But as of now, it's all love. Appreciate you all being here. Appreciate you all watching. And uh, yeah, Steve Dad, 317 signing out.